When you think of socialism and what a socialist society would look like, what do you envision? Well, if you're China, it's mind-reading apparatuses to make sure you don't think or see the wrong thing, which is really more of a dystopian kind of notion. Well, see, the thing is that this is actually true. China has built special devices to place on people's heads so that they haven't specified who will be notified that someone is looking at pornography. Yes, like there's a whole device for that. It's like a mind-reading helmet that gets impulses from the brain and can tell whether or not the person wearing it is viewing pornography. And this is a dystopian nightmare level of BS. Now, if you watch me, you know that I'm anti-pornography. It's... there's an astronomical amount of proof that it does nothing but harm. But that's besides the point. I am anti-porn. I'm not bashing this as like some kind of pro-porn argument. I'm bashing this as being just some really creepy, totalitarian, dystopian nightmare... nonsense. Okay. This program has an 80% success rate in determining whether or not someone is viewing pornography. Now, it was uh, created by the Beijing Jiao Tong University. You know, uh, there's AI bots that go around the internet in China that try to figure out if something's pornography and then block it. And then there are people who go through and verify what the bot has been doing is actually correct. So if there's specifically porn for this or porn appraisers, as they're actually called. And this technology isn't so, like this video isn't about the technology, it's about, it's about the fact that the, the government literally wants to read your mind and know what you're thinking. This is not what I think of when I think of socialism and what a better future for everybody looks like. This is literally some Nazi American dystopian fiction. Like this is the kind of nonsense that would come out of the mouth of Alex Jones or Glenn Beck or the government's reading your mind and you know like this is street like, like you might as well just say tinfoil hat. Because that's exactly how bad this is. I mean, how, how does anyone justify this? How does anyone continue to say China is socialist when there's literally a device that reads your friggin' mind to make sure you don't look at porn, or will tell someone that you're looking at porn? I mean, they haven't even specified who it is that's going to be informed. I mean, I mean, I mean who is this helmet writing you out to? Like, like again, I am anti-porn. But exactly where is this going to be used? Did someone suggest it will be used in workplaces to make sure people aren't looking at porn at work? Weird how a private company would now suddenly have the power to literally raid your mind in a country that's supposed to be socialist. Now, I, I know there's going to be an astronomical amount of mental gymnastics in the comment section from Deng is trying to justify this. I, I, I'm, I'm sure in, in some way, shape, or form, they're going to find a way to make it so that this is okay, or this isn't wrong, or somehow this is socialism, etc. But I'm sorry, this is like a literal nightmare. Like, like this, is a, this is a nightmare come true. Like, this is the kind of fear-mongering anti-communists would make up to scare people away except that now it's literally happening. I mean, it's... it's. I, I, I don't really know what even more to, to say to this. It's complete and utter nonsense. This is frightening. This, this should scare the hell out of people in China. You think they're going to stop at porn? Porn really isn't even a problem in China because of the heavy censorship of it. This is just laying the groundwork for something else. I'm sorry, this is a totalitarian nightmare. 
And if you can look at this technology being produced by a socialist country, being potential in, in the future it's going to be used, it's being developed so that it can be used, on its population, I don't see how in the living hell you could say China's socialist for this. But I'm sure you'll have some kind of mental gymnastics. Human beings innately have thoughts that they can't control. Thoughts that come into your head for no reason, otherwise known as intrusive thoughts. And some of them may trigger this device, which is why it only has an 80% success rate. But think about the, the real lack of freedom here. You can't even think. You can't think without it being recorded. You know this device is going to be put on someone's head. It's going to be it's going to be reading somebody's mind somewhere to make sure they don't see anything that is verboten according to the Chinese authority. Think about that. The one simple, most basic fundamental freedom, the ability to think It's being pro You already know what I'm trying to say. And you already know how messed up this is. But this is the reality that people in China are going to be facing. And if this is what you think socialism is, you're not welcome to call yourself a socialist anymore. This is a nightmare. Thank you for watching. If you like this program, then please head over to my Patreon page and set up a monthly donation. It's your donations that keep this program running. Also, if you would like, please rate, comment, subscribe, and share in various social media.